Hey, what's up? So in today's video, I'm going to show how to create a lead list, um, but by pulling and scraping all of the leads from uh, LinkedIn and the job postings. So you can do this with any particular job posting that is on LinkedIn. So uh, the tool we're using is Clay. So uh, we can go find jobs from LinkedIn. And then rather than having to manually trawl it or find a scraping tool that scrapes them, um, we can just use Clay to scrape all of the uh, current jobs. Now you can do this based off a list of companies. So you could have an initial list of companies first. So you could pull that from Apollo, from Clay, et cetera, wherever you use, whatever your database is, and then put that in here. And then you can find all the companies in there and you can enrich them with the current, the companies that are currently hiring for X job role. You can put in keywords for the job title or keywords in the description, um, or you can keep it super broad. It just depends or where they're actually to hiring from, like, is it in the UK, is it US, North America, et cetera, what the salary range is, all sorts of different things. You can put all those like filters in basically when you're searching. But um, for this tutorial, I'm just going to quite literally, it's not even a tutorial, I'm just showing what we do. Um, we're going to include the job titles. Um, oh, we're just going to search for like sales and marketing. Um, so we're literally just going to put sales and marketing. And we only just want those two. Actually, no, I'm not going to do set. No, I'm going to do SDRs. SDRs. Yeah, SDRs. SDR, BDR. You want to capture like all the potential ones essentially. So SDR, BDR, uh, business development representative, and then sales development representative. However, it is. So yeah, and then you want to maybe exclude like director, VP, because we want them like, this is just in my case, you could quite literally use this for like, I don't know if someone's hiring digital marketing or someone's hiring in tech or something and you want to approach them at that particular time and have like something that they, yeah, an offer that gets put in front of them at that particular time because obviously the hiring manager or the, 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 the team is thinking about solving a particular problem by hiring someone. So that's perfect time to actually reach out to them. Um, say a VP, director, just for this example, I'm doing like lower level, like just simple SDR jobs, um, but you can do whatever. Uh, location, I'm going to go for the United Kingdom. Pick up the UK. Um, so, yeah, are we going to do that? Uh, we can also filter it by job description, so we can put like job description keywords. Um, but I'm not going to do that for this one. So we just go preview jobs. I'm going to pause this, otherwise you're going to be waiting for ages. All right, cool. So we can now see that we've got um, 970 results. So that's how many people are currently hiring in the UK for or have a job posting of SDR, BDR, etc. on their LinkedIn um, within the UK. So we can filter this further in a second, but we can import the 970 jobs, right? Um, so bear in mind, it's 970 jobs from 970 companies, or it could be like multiple jobs from one company. So yeah, we've got this. Um, and we can see what the, when the job was posted on. So the first way we're going to filter this, because we obviously don't want like jobs from a year ago, um, because it's, it's going to pull jobs that currently have a listing. So it could be someone posted a job a year ago and they just forgot to take it down or they didn't close it or like whatever it is. So we're going to sort, I'm going to add sort, post it on, and then, yeah, zero to nine, whatever it is. Cool, so we can see here, it's all stuff that we don't really want, need. We want them from probably like October, the last six weeks, maybe two months. Yeah, so maybe from like, yeah, from like the 20th of October, it's like a month ago. So it's obviously still, so yeah, perfect. So then we can just highlight all of these. There's probably a quick way of doing this. I don't know. I'm just used to doing this manually. Uh, okay, cool. Now we've deleted all of those. So all the ones here are currently hiring. Um, so these ones you can see here, like let's just click on the latest one. So it's 22nd of November, which was today, basically they posted the job. Um, so if you click on here, we see, yeah, sales is um, rep. Um, and it tells you the founder. This is obviously just putting all the information for LinkedIn, but it's just putting it all in a nice, neat table. And if you had to do that another way, you'd either have to scrape it, which would be, I'm not sure how you actually scrape LinkedIn job postings. Um, I'm sure there's a way with like Appify or something, um, or you'd have to do it manually. So this is a nice, uh, much easier way of doing it. Um, and yeah, you can see this was literally posted two hours ago. So fantastic. Um, yeah, these are all the jobs that are currently open within in the UK um, for uh, SDRs. Um, now, the next thing you probably want to do is you want to filter by the company's um, size. So what we can do is we can click on over here 
this is the um, and then we can click on the company URL, right? So what we want to do is we want to get the LinkedIn, uh, the company's LinkedIn URL, not just the job post, but we want to get the company's LinkedIn URL. Um, there, just so I know. Cool, and then we can delete that. All right, cool. So now we've got that. So now what we can do is we can enrich. Um, so we can go add enrichment, and then da -da 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 -da. so go over to enrich company uh, we could actually have used their website um, but sometimes I prefer to just use company LinkedIn URL and we continue to add fields and then what this is going to do here this is actually going to give us the employee count and the size which we're then going to be able to filter so for example if you're targeting startups or enterprises etc you don't want this list is like of every company in the UK that is currently hiring for SDRs and BDRs, we don't want every single company. We want just the ones who are like based on your target criteria. So this is just what I would do for us, but you can also take this and think about how you would do it for yourself. Um, but we would just filter it. So yeah, we want that. And then we actually want to see what the industry is as well. Um, we don't need any of this stuff. We can use a description if we want to, you know, um, end up using like leveraging AI down the line, but I'll make separate videos on that. So we don't need that right now. Um, and then we're just going to click on, yeah, save and run first 10 rows. Um, just to see and make sure that it's all good all right cool so you can see here how it's come up um and you can see like you know it and the staffing and recruiting of course a lot of them are probably going to come up with staffing and recruiting because they posted on behalf of someone else uh, but we can just run this for the entire column um which is how many needs have we got what's 735 so we probably don't need i'm just going to run it for like say uh choose number of rows to run and run it for like another 40 so we've got like 50 or so just start there cool so and then we can filter by the company size um so yeah probably we can either filter by employee count or the company size just depends sometimes one's more accurate like for example this could have like 3000 but then it says like 11 to 50 over here which we don't want so we just have to play around with it a little bit but similar to what we did before we just quite literally sort and then sort by one of the by one of those i'm just going to wait for these to finish um populating and then do it this one's taking a little time but yeah go we'll go to sort and we're going to go over to uh let's see employee count employee count yeah zero to nine okay great cool so yeah we can see here it's nicely uh, put the employee count so we can see that a lot of these companies like for us in particular We want to target businesses up to up to absolute maximum like 200 people, but ideally we have less so if anything it's probably From like here To here we wouldn't want so we would just delete these right oh, press the wrong button Yep Yeah, so you can see so we just delete that and you just delete rows or you can just hide them from the view or whatever it is but then we would literally have a list of yeah, I mean, it's just 35 for now. With 35 companies in the UK that are currently hiring SDRs, um, obviously a lot of these are um, staffing and recruiting firms, so we're going to have to figure out how to like sort of sift through those. <clears throat> but, you know, um, for the ones that are coming directly, and you can also, again, filter out like the staffing and recruiting um, and just have it so that, you know, you've got software development or something. And when you've got a large enough list, like we've got here, obviously with 735, like you're able to to filter down to a pretty decent sized list that aren't just recruiting companies that are hiring for someone. Um, another option as well is, is if a lot of the list is staffing and recruiting or just recruiting companies, then you could actually use AI to determine, um, I'll make separate videos on this, but you could use AI to determine how you um, determine if, that is the company that's hiring or if they're hiring on behalf of someone else um, you can use ai agents which is pretty cool so you tell them like can you figure out this information um and if you wanted to do it manually you could do it manually but it just allows you to do work backwards basically from doing it manually and do it uh, automatically um for a whole bunch of them so it doesn't take up loads of time um but yeah so you can see here there's a whole list of companies that are hiring um and then once you've got these again filter up by the ones that are doing hiring for staffing and recruiting uh, or hiring sorry on behalf of someone else um so that's one way of doing it and then the second way of doing it is by using uh, ai agents to basically figure out uh if they are hiring on behalf of someone else or if they are hiring so um yeah so one tip actually because i was going to end the video but i realized probably 
want to add just one more thing here, which is, and I'll shoot this properly in a separate video, but if you wanted to use AI to conduct the research, um, you would feed it this link, so the job link URL, and then it, you would tell it essentially to have a look at that and see if there is a recruiting, a recruitment company hiring, or if it's the original company hiring. So as an example here, um, these guys, your prime, this is obviously, um, they, the company itself is hiring. So you can see that this is the like hiring team from uh, your prime, whereas something else like, I don't know, um, Certus Origin, for example, they are probably hiring on behalf of someone else. Yeah. So they're hiring on behalf of someone else. So, cause obviously they're a recruiting firm and you don't want to reach out to the recruiting firm saying, Hey, I saw you're hiring and da, 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 da. you want to reach out to the original company, um, which isn't always possible. So this isn't always the absolute best method, but it is a method of finding companies that are currently hiring, um, in the UK or around the world, and then being able to find the decision maker from here. I'll give you a very brief, quick thing on how to find a decision maker from here. You would just go over to find people, and I made a separate video about this, but find people. And then you could type in like sales, marketing, founder, et cetera, et cetera, from the companies. And then it would find the sales, marketing people and so on from those companies. And you could verify and find the emails from there. Of course, a lot of the businesses and companies within here are going to be recruitment. So if that's the case, you can either do it manually where you go through one by one and find who's recruiting, or who's working with a recruiting company or who's not, or you can do it with AI. And then if that doesn't work, you can just remove all of the staffing and recruiting ones that fall under that in the industry and then focus on the other ones. You might have a smaller list, but you're going to have the companies that are hiring directly, um, in which case they are perfect kind of candidates for you to reach out and say, hey, so you're hiring for X, Y, Z. Okay. So yeah, hopefully this video has been useful. Um, I know I jumped around a little bit, but hopefully it's useful in terms of like how you can add this as a workflow where you build a, a list of people or companies that are currently hiring. Um, of course, there's a couple ways around and you've got to figure out how to sort of like sift through and um, decipher who's recruiting and who, who's using a recruiting company and who's not, but um, at least quicker than doing it manually. Uh, and yeah, hopefully it helps save some time as well. So thanks. Have a good day. Bye.